Okay guys, I'm doing a different theme for a winter fragrances video. Winter is just around the corner. Probably a few weeks left to get there. So today I thought I'd do my top 21 sexiest winter monsters. So most of these are niche fragrances. There's a few from the higher end designers uh, exclusive collections, but they're really, really intense uh, fragrances, long lasting, perfect for winter, and they're definitely sexy. So if you're curious to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today it's all about the sexiest winter monsters and I've got 21 of them and these are my favorites. And you know, I, I know fragrances that last a long time. I know fragrances that don't last a long time. I know fragrances that wear thin. I know fragrances that wear dense. And these are definitely the latter. They definitely were dense and they are definitely long lasting. So I'll let you know what they are. But before I get to the fragrances, as always, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. One quick update before I move forward with uh, letting you know what the fragrances are. Just uh, wanted to let you know that there might be some days going forward for the rest of the year that I might do more than one video and you've probably already experienced it a few days here and there. Uh, not today, obviously. Today we're going to let it be only about the sexy uh, winter monsters, but there's going to be some days that I'm going to do multiple videos. For some odd reason, I've gotten uh, a whole bunch of different uh, video topics and or promises I've kept to shoot videos for certain brands and things like that, so I'm kind of, kind of running out of days. So going forward, you'll have some days of two videos, so I hope you guys don't get too annoyed of having too much uh, content. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start off right off the bat with one of my favorite latest uh, Frederick Moll fragrances. It's a, a pretty a pretty sexy monster for sure. It's a Frederick Moll's The Moon, this one right here. Now I wanna also let you know that there are a few fragrance houses here. I think few. Now I'm thinking maybe it's just the uh, Frederick Mall that I have uh, two fragrances from. But either way, Oud, Leather, Olibanum, Raspberry, Redberry, Saffron, Patchouli, Lychee Fruit. So this is uh, your typical Oudy fragrance with lots of saffron and sm smokiness from Olibanum. But this has lots of raspberry and fruity notes like uh, red berries and uh, also lychee fruit. And there is a little bit of a rosy touch in here as well. The rose is definitely there, but I feel like it's, even though the rose is there, I feel like it's a fruity rose. Rose and it's it's more about the the way the fruits work with the the oud of course and the leather and then the you know the smoky all abandoned note but a great great scent I really really am obsessed with this fragrance I still haven't done a full review of it but I feel like it's it's a great great uh, fragrance and also it's a, a sexy uh, winter monster so it, it's perfect to wear in the winter time a little goes a long way and it it's fantastic smelling anyway the moon if you're still looking for a review of that one let me know I'll go ahead and do it very soon. Next go into the house of Louis Vuitton, it's Ombre Nomade. So here we have sort of a similar fragrance but different of course. This one has lots of oud, incense, raspberry, rose, birchwood, benzoin, saffron, amber wood, and geranium. So it's aromatic, it's spicy, slightly fruity, but lots of rose of course. There's the oud and the incense. You could say they're kind of going in a similar direction but they kind of go in a similar direction but then they go in other directions. You know like they, they don't end up smelling similarly. So this one actually to me is more oud uh, and more incense rather than uh, this one being oud leather with incensey touches and lots of fruits. But the the rose in here is also much more prominent th than this one. But in the end, this is probably one of my favorite um, fragrances from Louis Vuitton. Uh, it's intense, it's long lasting, and it's definitely a sexy, uh, sexy monster for the winter time. So Ombre Nomade from the house of Louis Vuitton, a great, great fragrance. Now this one I recently featured in a video of sexy trail, uh, you know, fragrances that leave the sexiest trail. Here I'm featuring it in this video for monsters sexiest uh, winter monsters. This is Ursa from the house of Tiziana Terenzi and even though this is the only fragrance I have from Tiziana Terenzi on this uh, in this video I do have a fragrance that 
Paolo Terenzi of Tiziano Terenzi has made for another brand, and I'll get to it in a little bit. But Ursa, man, it's so good. I just wish just some of the fragrances from By Killian were as intense as some of the fragrances from Tiziano Terenzi. And even though this smells like uh, Straight to Heaven, or it reminds me of it, or it could be inspired by that fragrance, I feel like this particular version for me is better. First of all, you get the sexy leather in here, slightly animalic. On top of that, you have the, you know, the typical patchouli that's in Straight to Heaven, the rum, the booziness of the rum in here, as well that's also in Straight to Heaven. And then of course the dried fruits that's also in the uh, Straight to Heaven, it's in here. But there's also more density here. It's, it's a lot more dense and uh, intense. It's like lots of tobacco, there's some LME resin, there's some oud, and also incense. So in the end, I really do prefer this particular combination or concoction uh, when you compare it to something like Straight to Heaven. And I do love Straight to Heaven. It was the first fragrance that I bought from uh, by Killian. But in all honesty, uh, by Killian fragrances are not dense to me. I mean, they have some density to them, but in comparison to fragrances from some of these brands here that I'm talking about, they're uh, a bit on the weak side. Either way, this is so sexy, and it's very, very long-lasting, so it's perfect to fit in this particular video. So it's Tiziana Terenzi's Ursa. Check it out if you don't know it. And I do have a comparison of it on the channel, comparing it to Straight to Heaven and Straight to Heaven Extreme. Next up, going to a fragrance from the house of Bortnikov, and I'm featuring Sayat Nova in today's video. And the more I wear this fragrance, for some reason, for me, it's very smoky. It's like a very smoky oud, but for the more I wear it, and you don't need a lot of sprays of this one, obviously. It's really, really intense, and the juice is very, very dark, as you can see, uh, so don't stain your clothing. But the more I wear it, I'm getting coconutty touches in there for some odd reason, which I never really got. So my nose is like, you know, like uh, opening up to, to this particular fragrance. So there's something, a little bit of a coconutty touch running throughout it. Anyway, it's apricots, rum, vanilla, Laotian oud, agar wood, oak moss, narcissus, and magnolia. For me, it's very, very smoky, slightly animalic, not a lot, but it's all about a very, very smoky oud in combination with apricots and rum and vanilla. So it's boozy once again, and I love me my boozy fragrances, but this is dark in comparison to something like this. This, for me, this is boozy as well. This has rum, but this one, just the smokiness or something about the ouds and the combination of the notes, and I think it's also featuring the narcissus note, which can go, can go kind of uh, smoky as well, uh, makes for a very smoky experience. I don't know a lot. Of, I don't know if you guys get this one with this one, but in the end, I still find it to be very, very sexy, and it's a great, great um, winter fragrance. It's it's intense, it's long lasting, and it's very, very sexy. So Bortnikov's Sayat Nova is another one for you to try. Now this next one I have not spoken much about lately, but I'm featuring it today because I recently pulled it out and I was smelling it, and I was like, wow, this smells great. So this is Raja Parfums Amber Oud. It's one of those uh, very, very popular combinations of rose and oud together. But this one's called Amber Oud after all, and even though it has ambery touches, they're creating the ambery touches with amber grease. So there is a little bit of a sexy uh, animalic touch running throughout the fragrance. But in the end, it's Oud Rose, the typical combo that everybody seems to love. Amber grease, saffron, birchwood, civet, cinnamon, orris, fig, musk, sandalwood. Lots of stuff, lo lots of stuff happening with this one. But it has that very, very sexy touch with that ambergris back there. You know, you can smell it. It, it has a little bit bit of a funky, uh, musky, uh, animalic uh, touch to it. But, you know, it's mostly about the rose and the oud together and they work wonderfully together. But it's a little bit of a misleading name for me because you're not talking about amber much. You're talking about ambergris, but I feel like it's a great fragrance. Check it out. This is uh, Raja Parfums Amber Oud. Next, we are talking about that fragrance I mentioned that... Um, was created by Paolo Terenzi. It's from a house called Divina Terra. This is Fortuna. Now this is a very, very sexy fragrance and it's also a beast. It's intensely beastly, so it's perfect for winter wear. Uh, this features uh, lots of heliotrope, geranium, oud vanilla, rose, musk, iris amber bergamot. So it's a powder bomb, slightly uh, almondy. You know, I would say rosy touches, but also slightly minty as well. And then there's oud, there's lots of vanilla, so it does have sweet touches. It's just like a sweet uh, vanillic floral bomb, if that makes sense. Really, really great fragrance. When I first smelled this one out of their entire collection, I immediately fell for it. I thought, you know what, this is a great fragrance. Later, I found out it was created by Paolo Terenzi, and I was like, wow, this is a great scent. I don't know if you know about this brand, but do check it out. It's Divina Terra and it's called O, not O Fortuna, but Fortuna. So more sexy monsters for winter. This one is from a fragrance house called Papillon Perfumery and this is Salome. So Salome is an intense fragrance, but 
I'm cautioning you, it is classic leaning and it's also animalic leaning. It's very, very musky, but I find it to be very, very sexy. And it's definitely long lasting. So lots of castorium, hyrax, cumin, jasmine, oak moss, carnation, styrax. Man, this com a combination of notes is amazing. This perfumer has done an amazing job. Um, I, I guess I should say the first fragrance I bought from Papillon Perfumery was Tobacco Rose. And then when this came out, um, I was a little shy of it. Uh, it was a little too daring for me, but I've come around to it and I absolutely love it. It just smells so good. I love wearing it. The uh, cumin in here adds this beautiful layer to the, the muskiness of the animalic notes, but lots of flowers. Um, the oak moss is great. Uh, the styrax is great. Uh, great. It adds a great sweet touch. Man, it's so good. If you guys don't know it, do check it out. It's perfect winter scent, but it's definitely more classic leaning and also definitely more uh, animalic leaning, as I said, which makes it very, very sexy. It's a sexy monster. Next, going to a very, very popular fragrance from the house of Tom Ford. In fact, I spoke about Tom Ford yesterday and his X-rated fragrances. If you haven't caught that video, please do catch it. But this particular fragrance I feel like is definitely intense and very very long lasting and in fact it's also very very sexy. This is Tom Ford's uh, Tobacco Vanille. So with this one I really like the combination of the ashy smoky uh, tobacco with the vanilla. It's very very sexy. This one also garners me compliments. Uh, it's been a while since I've garnered any compliments uh, because of uh, our mask wearing outdoors. When I used to wear this fragrance and it usually was around the holidays and if I ever went to like stores and shopping and things like that, people compliment me with this particular fragrance. What I like about this one is tobacco, vanilla, spices, there's some chocolatey cacao, tonka beans, there are some dried fruits and woods. I think it's a perfect fragrance. In fact, probably one of the more popular fragrances from Tom Ford uh, and the Private Blend collection. And uh, you know, uh, we were talking about overpriced fragrances collection that uh, I spoke about yesterday from Tom Ford. I think this one is definitely not overpriced and I think it's a, a winner of a fragrance. I do really, really enjoy it. And it's very, very perfect for winter. So that's Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. If you don't know that one, you probably are just getting into fragrances recently. So this next one is from the house of Aqua di Parma and it's funny that I feature this particular fragrance in this collection of monsters but this is definitely a monster for me. This is their oud, it's Colonia oud and it's a great leathery oud. In fact the oud in here and the leather I should say the, the leather in here reminds me of their leather fragrance but this is more than just the leather. It's oud, leather, bergamot, amorous note, orange, coriander, sandalwood, cedar musk, probably the more intense fragrance from this collection of fragrances. And the one thing I wanted to ask you guys is I have the brown bottle. Have you guys tried the, the black bottle? Does it smell the same? Recently I heard it does not smell the same, so I'm not really 100% sure, but if they've changed this one, it's a sad day. But I personally thought they weren't changing it, they were just coloring the bottle to black. Anyway, either way, this is a great scent. It's probably one of my favorite ouds. And again, a lot of these fragrances, probably the, all the fragrances that features oud, it's not the real, authentic, uh, natural oud. These are most uh, definitely the synthetic ouds, the western ouds. But they smell great. Aqua de Parma Colonia Oud, a great, great winter fragrance. Really long lasting and really, really intense. This next fragrance, man, if you like leather, if you like aldehydes, if you like incense together, this is your cup of tea. This is Etat Libre Orange, Rien, Intense Incense. So Rien Intense Incense is an intense uh, experience. It's animalic, it's musky, it's sexy, it's smoky, it's dark, it's uh, wintry. Um, a bit stark, uh, but there's the aldehydes in here. It's, an, it's a strange combination because all these dark notes and then they've add this like bright, uplifting, fizzy, bubbly aldehydes note to contrast with these dark notes. Very, very interesting, but very, very good. I have a full review of this one along with a comparison of the original, which is just called Rien. Very similar smell, but this one's definitely darker and more intense. It's in the black bottle, obviously, as you can see, but a very, very sexy fragrance. It's definitely a perfect fragrance for winter. Once again, we're going a little animalic here. It's dark. It's not a very happy fragrance, but you know, with the addition of the aldehydes in here, there is some lift in here, so it's not all doom and gloom, if that makes sense. So this is Etat Libre Orange Rien Intense Incense. If you don't know, check it out. If you're curious to learn more about it, go check out my uh, video comparing the original to the uh, 
this particular one. Next, it's a new one that I'm adding to this list, uh, recently featured in my haul video. This is uh, Oud Satin Mood from the House of Maison Francis Kirkjian. And finally, I have this one, and I can appreciate it and enjoy it because it's lots of rose. This is the Oud collection from uh, Maison Francis Kirkjian. And this is probably the last one he came out with as far as the Ouds go, the Oud Satin Mood. I think there's two versions of it. There's an X-ray as well. This is not the X-ray. This is the regular, but it's definitely beastly. It's definitely a monster. It's also very, very sexy. The, the combination of the roses, a Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose with vanilla, it's out of this world beautiful. There's also oud. There's some resinous, sweet vanilla touches of benzoin, a little violet. Man, it's so good. And it's perfect for the winter time. Great, great wearing experience. Very, very long lasting and very, very sexy. So I felt like it's a perfect uh, fragrance to add here in this particular video. If you don't know this one, do check it out. I highly recommend it. His ouds are the best, some of the best. I enjoy oud silk mood. I enjoy oud cashmere wood. And of course, I also enjoy oud satin mood. So this is oud satin mood from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjian. So I'm surprised I'm adding this particular fragrance to this mix, but it's definitely beastly in comparison to everything from this house. This house has some of the lightest fragrances, but this particular series in the x the parfum concentration bottles that are also a little more expensive, not a little more expensive, a lot more expensive, and they come in 50 ml bottles, as I said, uh, I think is beastly and very, very sexy. This is Byredo's Tobacco Mandarin. Man, if you guys don't know this one, do check it out. So it's lots of tobacco, it's lots of mandarin, uh, lots of cumin. You have to like cumin to like this one. And I've got several fragrances here that feature this cumin note. There's olibanum, so there's some smoky touches. There's sandalwood, there's some oud, and there's some coriander. For me, this is a chalky experience. Uh, it's not very smooth and ambery, but there are ambery touches running throughout it. And I think I'm getting the ambery touches from the mandarin orange because it's chalk full of mandarin orange. But be warned, there's cumin. It does pop, and on my skin, I could totally smell it. I can't smell it out of the bottle, though. Definitely not, but it's lots of um, incense smoke. I don't get much tobacco smoke, but I get I get ashy tobacco, dirty tobacco, but uh, also the kind that's leafy a little bit as well, like before it's burned. But it's, it's a very, very good fragrance and very, very long lasting and very, very sexy as well. I find tobacco scents to be very, very sexy, boozy fragrances to be very, very sexy, and this one definitely can't be beat. And I'm glad I have it. And I, I wanna know if you guys are up for a full review of this one as well. Um, this was a blind buy, and I'm really, really enjoying it, and it's going to be a perfect, perfect win winter scent. So this is Byredo's Tobacco Mandarin. And speaking of tobacco, it's red tobacco from the house of, uh, let's see, right there, Mancera. So Mancera's red tobacco is a beast. It's definitely a monster, but it's very, very sexy as well. It's really, really long-lasting, and it's perfect for the winter. And if you want the combination of very long-lasting, perfect for winter, and sexy at the same time, definitely red tobacco it is. I get some negative comments about this one, in addition to a lot of uh, positive comments. I thought it might be a little more polarizing than I thought it would be, I mean, originally, but it turned out that it was, uh it was leaning more positive than a negative, but I've heard some negative things about it. I think a lot of times people say it's just overwhelmingly strong and that's the reason they don't like it. But you know, it's winter time. Here it doesn't get too cold, but I, some of you live in very, very cold territories or lands or countries and things like that. And this is gonna come in very, very handy for you because it does definitely work in the def, you know the cold of the winter. So that's Red Tobacco from Mancera. If you don't know it, do check it out. This next one is Parfums de Marley's Leighton Exclusive. And here uh, we have Gaillac Wood Cinnamon Geranium Cypriol Bergamot. And I did a comparison of this with the original Leighton. Uh, go check that out if you haven't caught that video. Um, I felt like this one definitely in the dry down goes a little animalic in comparison to the other one. That's why I find it to be very, very sexy. So it's got the sexiness to it, uh, but then it's all about the Gaillac wood and this, there, there's like a, uh, like a, almost like a fruity touch in there as well, which they don't really credit, but I pick up some apple type of touches in here as well. But Overall, very, very long lasting, very, very sexy, and a great, great fragrance to wear in the winter time. I really do like it. So that is Leighton Exclusive. If you don't know that one, do check it out. And this one's ultra sexy. I mean, this is another oud and rose combo. It's from the house of Montal. You've probably heard the, the clanking. Um, 
Um, great, great combination. But what I like about this one is not only do you get rose and oud, you also get patchouli, which adds the extra sexy layer. And I love this one. I've had it for quite a long time. It's not my favorite Montal. Um, uh, intense Cafe is my favorite. But I had to feature this one because I feel like this one's a little more intense than uh, Intense Cafe. Intense, intense cafe. Uh, and the patchouli in here is very, very sexy. So it's definitely a sexy monster and perfect for winter. So this is Montal's Black Oud. So I can't do a winter list without featuring this particular fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances in the niche world. I absolutely love it. And I also love it because it's patchouli. This is Javois Psychedelic. So here, it's one of the more intense and boozy style of patchouli fragrances that goes into the chocolate cakey direction, which is one of my favorite uh, smells of, of all time. It smells fantastic. Lots of patchouli here, lots of amber, lots of vanilla, musk, labdanum, geranium, rose, and um, uh, other uh, kind of like sweeter resinous touches. So I think it's these resinous touches, uh, ambery touches of vanilla, once it touches the patchouli, uh, it creates these accords of like chocolate, chocolate cake, you know, booziness. It's almost like a boozy chocolate liqueur uh, drizzled on top of a, a patchouli cake with chocolate. It is so good. It is very, very sexy too. It's very sexy and very, very long lasting. A lot of Javoy fragrances, not all, not all of them, a lot of the more intense notes fragrances from Javoy are really, really intense and long lasting and this is one of them and it's perfect for winter time and it smells fantastic. I really love it. So Javoy Psychedelic, if you don't know it, do check it out. So next up, going to this one and I can't do this list without this one. This is Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall and this is ultra sexy with the rose and patchouli combo along with the incense and the cinnamon and the cloves and the raspberry note. It is great. It has a massive trail, uh, very, very long lasting and very, very sexy. The combination of those notes is priceless. Like, you know, um, amazing combination that Dominic Rupion created for Frederick Mall. And it's 10 years ago that this he created. It's been, uh, you know, it's, we're celebrating 10 years of Portrait of a Lady. And I think it's been copied and copied and copied. A lot of people have copied this particular style because, you know, it's definitely a popular uh, fragrance and it stood the test of time. Ten years later, it still smells fantastic. I really love it. And it's a perfect winter scent to wear in the wintertime. So that's Frederick Mall Portrait of a Lady. Next, I'm going to a more bright fragrance, but very, very sexy, very, very long lasting. Um, it's a uh, more, I think it's a it's a summer it's a summery experience, but sometimes you don't want all dark notes in the in the winter time. You want some bright and uplifting, and you still want the intensity. So this is uh, a Cento overdose from the house of uh, Zerzhov. I have to feature this one because I'm absolutely obsessed with the way it smells, the fruity notes, the jasmine, the green accord, the lily of the valley, the the aldehydes, all make for a really really beautiful concoction, very very long lasting very, very intense, but also very, very happy and uplifting. As I said, the notes are really, really bright, very, very bright. No, no dark notes in this one and really, really intensely strong, uh, you know, long lasting uh, qualities. This I've tested out many times in hot weather and it comes alive, it totally comes alive. In the uh, winter time, it might not come alive as much because of these particular notes in here, but a little bit of uh, walking around, moving around and you, you're, you know, you're, if you perspire a little bit, if you sweat a little then the notes are just going to develop and uh, mature and open up a lot more but in either way uh, it's a little cooler not as sweet when it's in the winter time and you're you're not you know moving around too much and sweating and things like that so that's a cento overdose if you don't know this one you definitely got to check it out I love this one and I'm okay about the original Accento. This particular version is just a fantastic fragrance and it smells great off of other people too. And that's one of the reasons why I like it because a lot of people were wearing this one at one time and I was smelling them. It smelled great. Anyway, Accento Overdose, a great fragrance that you guys definitely need to know about. This one is for all you cocaine addicts out there. This is Frank Booklet's Cocaine. Man, this is so good. Such a beast too. Intense, overwhelming tuberose, very, very masculine. So it has tuberose, manoi oil, lily, caramel, tobacco, vanilla, orchid, patchouli. Boy, does it last a long time. Boy, does it smell sexy. Boy, is it perfect for winter time. Uh, great, great fragrance. It's a fragrance that's very, very floral, but also very, very 
masculine uh, experience. So in the end, it's not this like bright and happy kind of a tuberose fragrance. It just has all these like very, very uh, intense masculine touches to it that makes it for a very, very unisex tuberose experience. It's just an overdose of a lot of different you know, notes uh, together as I read to you and it's perfection in the um, winter days. It's very, very sexy too. So that's Cocaine from the house of uh, Frank Boclet. Next, going to the house of Nishane. It's Ani. It's a perfect winter scent. And I love the combination of the vanilla and ginger. There's some sandalwood in here, of course. Lots of sandalwood, actually. Blackcurrant, bergamot, benzoin, cardamom. But there's something about this fragrance that reminds me a little bit in the back there, like like something in there reminds me a little bit of their other fragrance, Hachivat. Not a lot, just little hints of it. Like I almost feel like there's a DNA of Hachivat in here on top of all the other notes that I read. Something about it. But this is very, very sexy. It's perfect for winter and uh, I think it's a, you know, one that you can wear and totally like enjoy for the whole day when you're out and about. If we are out and about these days. Anyway, this is Ani from the house of Nishane. So the last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about today, uh, and this video was not ranked by the way, I was just mentioning uh, different uh, suggestions for you guys. Going to the house of Maitre Parfumer at Gantier. So this is the fragrance that I featured recently in that video at number two. This is Ombre Mythique. Very, very intense amber, very, very powdery, vanillic, very, very aromatic with lavender, and lots of resins and uh, smoky touches. So this is an uh, amber bomb, is what I should say. Overdose of amber, and it's very, very sexy, you know? It's very, very sexy. It's lots of amber, but it's not the syrupy kind of amber that I usually typically go for. Uh, it's the powdery kind. It's almost like you're taking that syrupy amber, you're drying it, making it into powder, and you're wearing it, right? But it's so long-lasting, guys. Don't don't think it's not. It is really, really intensely long-lasting. This is the most intensely long-lasting fragrance from this ho house, minus their very, very animalic oud, which uh, is really, really tough to wear. But if you want an intense amber that's powdery, you got to try this one. It's very, very sexy, too. That powdery, ambery... A smoky touches makes for a very very sexy experience so that's maitre parfumer at gantier ombre mythique and don't forget i have a giveaway with the video i did for this house go catch it participate in the giveaway it's worldwide make sure you're subscribed anyway that's my last fragrance for this uh, video of 21 sexiest winter monsters. What are your thoughts about these fragrances? Are you a fan of them? Do you like them? Or is any of them that you don't know about, uh, you know, caught your attention and you're curious to explore it more? Um, let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out. Also, let me know if you have any fragrances similar to these or the idea of being sexy winter monsters uh, that I haven't heard about or spoken about. Please put a comment down so I can find out so I can check into them, uh, perhaps, because I'm always looking forward to updating these lists and all as if I can find new fragrances uh, that are really, really awesome, um, I'm always looking for them. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.